Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to Sanabis village today, where he toured the area and also checked on the status of Sanabis Elementary School for Girls. In response to village residents, the Prime Minister directed the building of a new school and the start of speedy and urgent maintenance work at the present one, so students don't have to be transferred to other schools far away from their village. He also directed the acquisition of a number of plots to serve infrastructure demands and improve the quality of services provided to the people of Sanabis. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's concern that citizens are provided with the best government services, highlighting the government's interest in achieving the best environment for ensuring educational, health and housing services. He confirmed pride in the achievements already made, stressing that the government's ambition for a better life for the people is unlimited. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today a number of royal family members and senior state officials. His Royal Highness said that Arab security and stability are linked to accurate diagnosis of the threats facing the Arab nation, which require exceptional cooperation and coordination in all fields. He said that vicious intentions and conspiracies against the region's countries are clear, explaining that stronger Arab cooperation has become a necessity for enhancing unity. The meeting also discussed a number of national issues, where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said the government is blessed with a people that support it towards a better, brighter future under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He said the government is keen to achieve the aspirations of the people and meet their demands. He also reviewed with the audience a number of regional and international issues that require enhanced joint coordination and cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today members of Al Ramehi family who thanked His Royal Highness for his condolences and noble sentiments on the demise of Khalifa bin Ghanim bin Omar Al Ramehi. The Prime Minister highlighted Bahrain's tradition of interacting with the people at times of joy and at sadness, asserting the importance of such traditions in reinforcing national unity. He noted the role of Al Ramehi family members in serving their country, noting the honourable stances and loyalty of all Bahraini families. For their part, the audience expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering support, which embodies the strong relationship between the leadership and the people. They wished him continued success in serving the kingdom and its people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, delegated the Minister of Transport and Communications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham al Jauda, to attend a celebration at the Ritz Carlton Hotel last night, marking Egypt's National Day and the 64th anniversary of the July 23rd Revolution. The ministers convey the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and his wishes to Egypt to further progress and prosperity. They also underline the historic relations between the two countries and peoples in various domains. We are celebrating our national day and I'm so proud to have most of the officials coming to share it with us. And I just emphasized in my word that we are accustomed to that. Bahrainis are usually with Egyptians in most of the occasions. So I thank them for being here and I thank them for sharing this occasion with us. If you just ask any Egyptian over here, he'll tell you that Bahrain is his second home. And, and Bahrain has something special about it. People feel home here. And I just have the pleasure to inform you that His Majesty the King and our President, they are constantly talking to one another to make sure that they are activating all agreements. They are putting it into effect, which is something that makes us feel very responsible. And we are having constant meetings to make sure that they are put into force. The Bahraini-Egyptian relations has, uh, has been developing and uh, nurturing for many, many years. Uh, uh, we're privileged that just recently, during His Majesty's recent visit to Egypt, uh, there were just around 21 bilateral uh, cooperation agreements and memorandums of understanding in so many different fields. Uh, we aspire in Bahrain to boost our relations with Egypt uh, in all such fields, and we look forward to implementing these memorandums of understanding and uh, agreements uh, shortly. Now it's time to join Danielle for the latest business news. Thanks so much, Esther. A very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,154.33 points, dipping 0.66 points below yesterday's closing level. Trading decreased generally across the services, industrial, hotels and tourism and commercial banking sectors, with the latter representing the majority 83% of total share value traded. 55 transactions took place today, comprising 3,639,061 shares worth 599,019 Bahraini dinars.